This video will show how to create a handrail on an existing stair and anchor it to a concrete wall using the wall rail tool in Advanced Steel 2018. The first thing I want to do is I want to move my UCS to the object which is the concrete wall and then I want to just modify so I'm on the right XY plane, the orientation. I'm going to turn my 2D all snaps on and I'm going to use this system line as a reference. So I'll make a line. Oh, that's good. There we go. I'll create another line to the end point. And I'll just use a regular AutoCAD command to offset. I'll offset it to, let's say, 36 inches. Oops. There we go. And I'll just uh, fill it radius zero and now I'm ready to use the wall rail tool so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna choose the line option and select both of my lines and I'll keep the line object the railing properties dialog box is displayed where you can further customize the railing you can save the values to the library but let's look at the general tab so you can change the railing profile if you want, along with the bend radius uh, as poly beam is already selected, so it's one beam. Again, the rod profile you can also change and you can customize the vertical offset bend radius wall support um, perp to railing. So you can see that makes a difference and then you can add the type of weld and thickness you want. Wall plates, rectangular, circular. Change out the values. You can also offset in the X, the Y, the Z. And depending on what you choose, you can have corner treatments. Connection to the concrete wall. Once you've specified your anchor settings, specify the bolt patterns and the spacing in the X and the Y and the number of the radial in the X and Y. Segments. This is where we would further customize and tweak the spacing of the um, attachments to the concrete wall. So you'd go in and you'd modify the max spacing start offset and end offset for each segment. And that's how to use the wall rail tool in Advanced Steel 2018.